Hey, what's up? Here's a quick little video showing you how to sample vinyl using this little guy. It's pretty handy. It makes sampling pretty easy and uh, portable. So check it out. We're gonna sample into the iPad using Beatmaker 3. The items you're gonna need to sample are earbuds or an aux cable, a guitar cable, a turntable. For this demonstration, we're gonna use the Newmark PTO-1 portable turntable. It's gonna allow you to sample while on the go. And last but not least, the iRig guitar interface connection. First off, you wanna connect the iRig into the iPad. You take the uh, jack end and plug it into the end of the jack on the iPad. Now that it's plugged up, you wanna take your guitar cable and plug it into the end that has the guitar icon on there. It should look like this once it's plugged up. Next, you want to take the opposite end of the guitar cable and plug it into your turntable. The nice thing about the Newmark PTO-1 is that it has several outputs. You have a standard headphone jack, a quarter inch, and two line outs. We're going to take our guitar cable and plug it into the quarter inch. And that is now running back into the iRig interface. Now it's time to decide which item we're gonna to use to monitor the sound that's coming out of the turntable into the iPad. If it was just one cable, it would be impossible to hear the sound and monitor the sound that was going into the iPad because it would cause feedback. So we're gonna use the aux cord today so we can hear the sound through our speakers as we sample. On the iRig, there's a headphone jack which is, indicates where you can monitor the sound. We're gonna plug our aux cord from that headphone jack into our speaker. Next, we're gonna set Beatmaker 3 up for sampling. We're gonna to go to that wave squiggly, squiggly line and click on the record icon. And then it's gonna bring us to the audio recorder. We're gonna choose recording source to hardware input and headset microphone. There's two modes of sampling within Beatmaker 3. You have Threshold and you have Sync. With Threshold, you would hit Start and then Monitor. And once the sound goes above that blue line, that's when it starts recording. With Record Mode and Sync, basically, you choose a determined length that you want to sample for, and then you hit Start. As soon as you hit Start, it's going to start recording. <laughs> You can go and record as long as you want or as short as you want. For this video, we're gonna use Threshold. So as stated before, we hit Start. Beatmaker 3 is waiting for a signal from the uh, turntable. Once it goes beyond that blue marker, it's gonna start recording. Next, we're gonna put the needle on the turntable and the uh, faders in the off position. So you shouldn't hear any sound. Once the fader's on in the arm position, sound will be going into Beatmaker 3. And it should start recording. Once you're ready to stop recording, simply hit recording again. And that stops it. Exit out, and there's your sample. Next, we're gonna edit the sample. Hit the edit button hit process, and we're gonna normalize the sample, which is gonna raise up the volume of the sample. Next, we're gonna trim and edit the unwanted uh, portion of the sample that we don't want. At the end, you see there's a, a flat line that basically means there's no sound right there. We're gonna grab the end of that waveform on the tab and pull it. Next, we're gonna hit trim. Boom, there you have it. Now, if you wanna uh, count the bars, you can do tap tempo. And try to find how many beats per minute the uh, sample is. That's At least that's the way I do it. I'm sure there's an easier way to do it. The song says 88. 
what I go and do is I go down here to the actual sample and change the tempo as I desire. And that's gonna be 88. Then you go to slice mode and you can slice it any way you want to. We're gonna slice it into 16 equal parts. And there's a sample. Hope this video is able to help you out. If you have any other questions or comments regarding sampling or anything regarding Beatmaker 3 or anything else for that matter on our iPad app, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll try to research it and provide an answer for you. Anyway, uh, a sub would greatly be appreciated as it would encourage me to continue making more videos. Y'all take it easy now. Peace.